Okay, so for this, uh, for the name selections, I will go to the groups and uh, let's define this one as the uh, wall top of the tank. Okay, and this one simply a wall. Okay, so now click on these two boundaries and then right click here and uh, click on height. Okay, and this is going to be the shaft one of the tank. And before that, this is going to be again the wall boundary condition. So I'm putting the wall here and I'm going to copy this name and I will use on the bottom side. Okay, and similarly click on create name selection and this is going to be shaft number two. So you can also hide this uh, part here. And uh, this is going to be the interface for the tank one. So the group one is created, but we didn't put the name here. So select the group one and right click here and click on the rename. So this is going to be the interface one and this is from the tank domain, so tank domain. So put that name as a tank. So interface one will be also from the impeller one and interface two will be uh, also from the impeller two. So we will join them, okay? The interface one tank and uh, second interface will be here. Okay, this is the interface and this is on the tank side uh, and uh, so now uh, we have made all these boundary conditions so you can hide the tank and uh, now display the all the parts of the uh, the rotor domains so both domain 1 and domain 2 okay this is going to be the uh, interface uh, of the rotor 1 And this is going to be the interface for the rotor 2. Okay, so you can hide them. And now we have to provide the, now you can provide, provide the single boundary condition for this uh, all uh, parts over here. So this is like, uh, you can say this is impeller one, a rotor one, whatever you want to say. So you can put the wall of the rotor one, okay? So you can copy. And similarly, you can put the second boundary condition for the second domain. And this will be wall of the rotor two. Okay, so now you can display all the bodies and but you have to hide the uh, bodies which are suppressed so now this is a what we have right now so you can uh, if you hide the interface of rotor one and rotor two you can see the things from inside okay so now we have provided the boundary condition uh, names uh, using the groups command and inside groups we have the uh, create name selection ns short for name selection so now we are ready for the meshing process